Hello my friends, it's Nina and welcome to 2021. It's actually been a few days into January. I think we're almost halfway in. Welcome to the middle of January at the time that I'm filming this. Is it too late to set up a 2021 bullet journal when it's already halfway through the first month of 2021? Yes. Am I still gonna film this video? Yes. So we are back with a bullet journaling video. Last year for 2020, I did set up a bullet journal spread for 2020. Did I end up not filling it out at all? Kinda. I honestly haven't really kept up with bullet journaling for the last few weeks. I did set up a bullet journal spread for December of 2020. It was actually kind of pretty, probably one of my favorite spreads. It did look kind of nice. I spent about almost two hours on it. I didn't really fill it out, but I was proud of it. But after that, I kind of forgot about bullet journaling a little bit. But for some reason, I did get some requests to do a bullet journal setup video for 2021. I was kind of honored that people would actually want to see this video from me even if it was just like 10 requests but here we are and i'm going to set up my bullet journal for 2021 and also maybe you're watching this in the future maybe it's almost 2022 2023 or you just want to set up a bullet journal and it's the middle of the year that's also fine too <laughs> let's try to plan our 2021 a little bit and if you don't have a bullet journal or you don't plan to and you just wanted to hang out with me Thank you, but let's get started. I also do want to mention my bullet journal spread is pretty simple, kind of on the more simple, minimal side. Sometimes I go all out with my spreads as well, but most of the time it is pretty straightforward, simple, because I don't really have the patience to do more. So hopefully if you're looking for a more minimal spread, a more simple one, then this is the video for you. But first things first, I'm going to go over the materials that I personally use. We're gonna start with the bullet journal. So I am using a new bullet journal. Well, not really because I actually kind of used a lot of this already. I used this at some point during 2020, so it's not brand new. <laughs> this is also why I almost didn't film this video. I used about this much already. We're kind of going into the middle of the journal, but that's fine. If you're like me and you don't have a new bullet journal to use, that's completely fine. Just keep going. But I am using this dotted notebook. It is different from my past bullet journals. This is actually one of my friend's products and this has been a game changer. This dotted notebook is from my friend Amanda, also known as Amanda Rach Lee on YouTube. She has her own shop. It's called Shop Amanda Rach Lee. Her products are so good. I love the thickness of the paper. My pens glide so easily on the paper. There's no ghosting and it's just more fun and satisfying to make spreads. I've already kind of worked on it, but I've really been enjoying this paper. <laughs> it's already got my name on it. So this has been fun to use. But basically, I like a good dotted notebook. It allows for more creativity and freedom with your spreads, with your lines, with your drawings. It also gives you a sort of guide. You could also use a line notebook, a sketchbook, grid paper, honestly anything. Just have fun with it. I've used all sorts of notebooks. And then then for my stationery, I mostly just use the same old markers and a pen. My favorite markers in my possession are these Zebra Mild Liners. They have a nice chisel tip and then on the other side, there is a finer tip. For the longest time, I didn't know there was a finer tip. Just this one day, I was like, what's this line right here and why does this twist? And then I pulled it, then I realized there's another tip. So that's pretty cool. I also like the variety of colors. I think for 2021, I'm going to use a pretty light light pastel palette. My thing for this setup is just to use my favorite colors. I kind of wanted to match my room, my color palette, my aesthetic. So I'm probably going to use gray, brown, light blue, pink, and this light purple color. I think that looks pretty. And as for my pen, I use this for everything. I am using the Pilot G2 gel pen. This is the 05 points. A pretty nice tip. In my last bullet journal, it did kind of skip a lot, but with my current journal, there has been no problem, so we're good. And then other things, sometimes I like to use a ruler, but also at this point, I care more about just getting it done. I have this cute Hello Kitty ruler. I've used this since I was a kid. I'm pretty good at keeping things for a very long time. I also have pens in different colors. I have these Muji pens. One's in blue, one's in red. These are 038 tip pens. If I need to cross things out or add additional notes, I like to use different colors. I have a red one for crossing things out, check marking things. I also have blue just in case. Ah, if I make a mistake, I have whiteouts. I have a nice roll of whiteouts. And then if I feel fancy, I do have washi tapes. These are also from Amanda's shop, but most of the time I like to keep it pretty simple. So that is it for the materials. I think now we are finally ready to get into the bullet journal. Let's go. So looking back at my setup from last year in 2020, I concluded that there were so many pages that I didn't end up needing. Also seeing how empty everything was at first was kind of discouraging because I was like, 
like, dang, what did I spend one to two hours making these pages for? Do I even need to make a setup for this year? Is there a point? But then I realized why I still wanted to make a setup for 2021, and that is because all the little notes and thoughts that I did end up writing down, no matter how small they seemed at the time, me reading those notes a whole year later, I just thought they were so precious, and I was thankful that I took the time to write these things out because otherwise I really wouldn't have remembered anything. I liked seeing what my goals were at the time. It was also nice to see that he did end up achieving some of those goals as well. I also enjoyed seeing what I was interested in or what I discovered or felt during the year. And I just wanted to do that again for myself, but this time only focusing on pages that would be the most useful and meaningful to me. Passing over my simple key that I've made and my few setups from the last month, let's finally get started. So first I'm starting out with the year spread. This is where I can write up big events or things going on per month, kind of to have an overview of what's going on. I divided two pages into 12 sections for each month of the year. For each page, there are six sections, three on the top half, three on the bottom half. I'm making these seven dot lines, which will be the labels for each month. I personally skip two dots between each line for space. Then I would make these lines with another color. I did mess up on the lines, but that's okay. The way you fix this is by making everything else look messy too. I'm kidding. I wrote the first three letters of each month, then the days of each month. This will take a lot of time, so make sure you write the days correctly. This spread will help me see what's coming up for the year to prepare me ahead of time, or it'll remind me of what went on during the year when I go back to see it in 2022. Even if I don't really have expectations for this year, I still want to capture any little thing as much as possible. And below the months, I have room to write down things that will happen. For example, tax season is soon, so I can write down reminders for when things are coming up. I can circle birthdays and other important events. And at the end of the year, I can quickly see all the things that went on during the year. It's nice and practical and simple to make and use. Next up, I am making a goals page or what I call a stuff I want to do page. I wrote my header first in marker and then I wrote over it with a pen for this cute minimal look. Then I split the page into three sections, the first being kind of unrealistic but I'd still want to do, the second being big stuff I want to do, and the third being realistic stuff I want to do. You can adjust the order of the sections to your liking but I decided to do it this way because this year I want to imagine a little, you know? Try to think outside of my box and push myself. I'll first First see the things that I want to do, but I tend to think aren't very realistic, and maybe one day they can be realistic the more that I look at it and face it than always pushing it away. The next section is just big stuff that I want to do but are more within my reach. Then the last section is stuff that I can do in my day-to-day -day life, such as stretching, exercising, reading, watching more movies or shows. Some other things I'd like to do this year are sleep earlier, get out of bed earlier, draw more, try new things. I've also been trying to learn more things, so for the last year I've actually been taking classes on Skillshare, who kindly sponsored this video as well. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes where you can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. There are so many classes to choose from, such as illustration, film, marketing, productivity, so you can always just learn something new. Right now, I'm taking a class called Painting Light and Shadow the Basics for Portraits and Characters from Gabrielle Bricky. I'm taking it so I can get better at drawing people because it's one of my favorite things to do. I've been enjoying the class because it shows me new techniques to improve my art while also encouraging me to challenge myself. If you're trying to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join some supportive, encouraging, and inspiring communities with similar interests as you, Skillshare is definitely the place to keep you learning. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will actually get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership, and after that it's only around $10 a month. I hope you also get to use it and enjoy it, maybe you learn something new too, and thank you to Skillshare for partnering with me on this video. But basically in 2021, I want to focus on the things that I can do right now that can also help me challenge myself and grow. I want to spend more time on hobbies that I used to love, on taking care of my physical and mental health, anything that I can do really. With the stuff I want to do page, it's essentially a goals page, but I also just don't want to care too much if something isn't achieved or not. It's basically a list that says, hey, here's some stuff from January of 2021 that you wanted to do in the future. Let me know if you actually do them. If not, that's cool too. But here's this list if you ever get bored, that kind of thing. I also like that the blue is on top and the pink is on the bottom, kind of like the colors of a pink sunset. The pink is near the ground, so it's within reach, while the blue is up in the clouds and stars and I'm trying to reach for it. If you have more time, color an actual sunset or draw an actual sunset. I probably would have done that if I had time and energy. <laughs> Next to that, I'm making this quotes page. It's very straightforward. All I needed to do was make this cute block letter header. And with this blank page, I would fill it up with my favorite quotes that just make me smile or give me a little boost of motivation or support. So this piece of paper is kind of cheering you on. And I think that's cute. Next, I'm making a discoveries page. Keeping track of things that I discovered throughout the year was fun for me to see. So I hope to fill this out more in 2021 and really see what I was into or what I found. You kind of get the idea of these pages. I'm a simple person, so I'm just 
just making a nice header and writing out some categories for me to fill out. I just think as time goes on, keeping track of certain things just becomes more and more precious. And finally, I'm making a 2021 videos and projects page, but you can adjust this to be your projects or big things kind of page. Personally, I make videos and I'm working on other things, so I made the spread to write down some big picture things. This isn't really a goals page, but more work slash career related things that you know are going to go on, yet you don't really have a time plan for. If you're a student, this can be for projects you're taking on that you need to remember, things like that. Of course, every month I'll have areas to write down projects as the year progresses, but I thought to have this here so I can plan for future months if I haven't made spreads for them yet. This year, I definitely reduced the number of pages I needed for my year setup, but in the end, I think this is pretty practical, and these pages will be the most useful to me while still giving me a good idea of what went on in 2021. Through my individual month setups, which I've made many videos on, I'll have much more room for everything that goes on in that certain month, so the year setup in the end doesn't really need a whole lot for me, but feel free to add more or less pages to your liking, it's all up to you in the end. And that is it for my 2021 bullet journal setup. I do hope that this was helpful to you in any way or that it was just a good time for us to hang out. I get shy sometimes. Also, I did turn on some lights in my room. It got dark. There's my little cloud. So cute. Overall, it is on the more minimal, simple side, but that's my style. Bullet journaling is a personal, nice, hopefully calming thing to do. Everyone has a different style, a different use. Maybe you don't even bullet journal in the first place, but whatever it is, I hope that 2021 is just a year and that we get through it and that some good things happen. <laughs> As always, I hope you are staying healthy and safe. But that is going to be it for my bullet journal video. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Thank you for being here and bullet journaling with me. Here's to 2021. May this be a good-ish year. A good-ish year. A good year? May this be a good year. Let's manifest that. Please. We're ending this video with a hug as always. Thank you for being here and I will see you next time. Goodbye, my friends. There's an airplane. I just want to record my voice over. Please fly away. Na, 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 let me fly to my. Na, 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 na. Take a bottle, let me fly to my. Na, 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 na. Feel brand new. Every day. Na, 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 na. Okay, the airplane's gone. <laughs> Dun 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 airplane Okay <laughs>